really this season seems to be last season was all about the darkness and the big bad and this seems to be like a complete 180 uh, about family and smaller individual stories and relationship so I think it's, it's a great idea where do you go after you've nearly you know, annihilated creation and magic um, so yeah it'll be interesting to see how that plays out with Rowena who's probably not the most familial person is that, is that a word? <laughs> uh, so yeah see how that theme pans out for Rowena I don't know how she feels about having family I don't think she knows about Gavin It'll be interesting if there's, and I, I, I get on really well with Theo, so that'll be fun if, if that happens. I don't know, it's not a spoiler, I, like, I, I'm guessing that could happen. And obviously more that shepherd bloke. <laughs> what is it like working with Mark? <laughs> fun to have for his son. He is uh, one of the most naturally talented actors. Uh, you know, some people just have it, you know. Um, and so when he hits it as Crowley, it's easy, you know, it's like acting is blah blah reacting. It's not, I don't just think acting is just reacting, you have to create something in the first place, but uh, it's, it's just been so, the relationship dynamic is just, it is, it, I have had to think about it. You know, I, obviously I think about it when I'm doing my homework, but when I'm on set, Mark and I have a great rapport, and I listen to him. I should probably shouldn't. Mm-hmm. I take his advice. Uh, yeah, and I love I love Sarah, his wife, and the baby Isabella. I just saw her last week. It's all good. Well, Rowena has quickly become a fan favorite. Definitely my favorite, and I've been watching for years. Oh, thanks. So, can you give us hope that she's gonna last? I mean, I mean, everyone, I mean, I've been killed already, right? I came back and they say nobody's ever really dead in Supernatural. I'm so, I mean, I can't, I can't believe it. Like I started in this, I got this job, you know, pinned for, booked for an episode and pinned for two and I'm now the longest running woman on the show and the longest running show. So I, you know, it's like, I sort of can't quite believe it. And so everything from here is a bonus. I, w- I would love just further as a woman for that for a woman to to really keep going and you know to be the fifth wheel I would love that but I, I don't know I don't know what their plans are I, I mean I did, I did when I read the script about my neck being broken I was like okay <laughs> and I didn't actually panic that much and something inside me said she'll be back so I hope it continues we hope so too. Okay. thank you <laughs> So I, she's really been affected by the, I want, and it was my hope as well, I was like, I hope that what's happened changes her in some way. So you do see, it picks up in, in season 12, there is a difference. She's, she's not, she's not this, exactly the same as she was. And it's interesting to see where that then goes, you know, she returns to form or my whole, real hope would be that at some point she really digs in deep and really finds her power whether it's with the mega coven or not or I don't know but she really finds her her because her purpose for a long time was just to get the coven because that, that's what had been taken away from her but maybe that's that's shifted so to, to really find what it is that she she um, can really offer and do with in the, with the world of magic I think is, would be interesting I think she's a I think she's a warrior for magic I think that was the thing that was she didn't care about the world so much but it's like the end of magic you know to me that was the most important line for Rowena in season 11 <laughs> you know it's the end of magic I love it Bob, Bob, Bob Barron's wrote that for me I'm so lucky am I get the best stuff <laughs> You're shy. Um, if you had to die again and then be brought back again, is there any particular like death scene that you would want to do? I would like Misha Collins to nibble in my ear and break my neck again. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't we all though, you know? There's, yeah, I don't, you saw the, you weren't all in the panel, but there was the outtakes, a bit of the outtakes at the end, right? I was sure it was going to make the outtakes, because the last take he did on him, he did actually bite my ear a little bit, and I went... <laughs> <laughs> made a little noise and I threw myself, I made myself laugh. You know, I did it, made the noise deliberately, but then I made myself laugh, so that's always stupid <laughs> when you do that. Is there any other 
anybody that you'd like um, to work more with that um, on the show? You know, I love. I, it seems to work really well when I do stuff with Jared one to one. Oh, they're you know turning them into a moose and stuff. That's always really fun. <laughs> and there's a different relationship with Dean. There's a different. And that's what's fun is like. And I loved the little bit I had with Castiel in season ten. I think Rowena was a little bit, you know, like fascinated by this angel, mm, yeah. you know. And so that's what I love. It's like I've got four different relationships, four very different characters, and I, that's what I really like that and uh, I would love obviously to you know if I can work with Sam um, you know Kim I mean I think it would be bad for Rowena if she came up against Sheriff Jodie but uh, on a personal level I think Kim is a phenomenal actress absolutely phenomenal and Brianna's obviously a total laugh so that would be uh, that would be fun as well there's not a dud do you know what I mean there's not a dud in the cast there's nobody you don't want to work with and I'm, I'm, and I'm serious about the boy toy thing, I said that in the panel. Yeah. <laughs> they want to give Rowena a little bit on the side. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. So, now that you're back, the fans want to hear a little bit more from you, so we're wondering if you're going to be live tweeting as it, as it airs. I always try to. Do, did you, do you follow me on Twitter and stuff? Uh, yes. So, um, as of recently. Yeah, so do you know when I, I was in Scotland when this last two episodes, do you know I got up at... 4.50 in the morning because it was 5 o'clock and Emily and Lisa Berry, I would love, I'd love to work with Lisa more with Lisa. oh my god, don't you love her, it's Billy Reaper uh, so Emily would be streaming, they would be watching it in my cafe in, in LA because I have this little cafe where I get everyone together to watch and live tweet the show, so they were streaming it and I'm trying to watch it through a camera watching a screen and so I'm very committed to the, to the, to the fandom and joining in as much as I can because I'm so appreciative of what it's given me and I enjoy it. That's a lot of effort so I'm pretty sure I, I appreciate I felt like it. I should have got a medal, <laughs> no, no, uh, no, an early morning medal for getting up at that time in the morning. 